So the thing about special ed is it will pull money away from general ed students. I have students that have um, some sort of disability. There are 13 classifying disabilities that can be classified through the educational system. And if their disability impacts them enough where they're at least two grade levels or below where they're supposed to be, then they may or may not be placed in a special day class. Well, luckily in special ed, they all have an individualized education plan. So no matter what, they have to receive whatever services are on that plan. We have a budget. It used to be $20 a kid at one point for the year, which actually was a lot, but now there really isn't even a budget. You're just supposed to spend as little as you possibly can. There is some funding for technology, and so those were given to me. The iPad I got a couple years ago, and the laptops came like three years ago. Sometimes there's grants, so they'll get a technology grant and then you'll get some stuff from that grant. A special ed is the only population that gets summer school also because nobody else gets summer school, but they um, have some money that they use in special ed funding to provide half-day summer school for these guys. They need the extra resources. And by law, there's so many laws that, co that govern special ed, so many laws about what you have to provide, and there's been so much litigation in the past that you have to provide it or you'll be sued. So the district is just always worried about being sued, so they provide it.